I really need to talk about the way uh, men will hide behind the women they're married to. Um, and even though she may, she could be, she could be um, in a violent relationship. She could be a, a victim. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very likely, very possible. But that doesn't mean that she's not doing a lot of harm. A lot of harm. Now, look, this is a very nuanced conversation. I've been talking about this for two years. Um, so I'm not going to, in one little soundbite, going to talk, um, explain how complicated this is. But just because a woman is married to a man who is allegedly um, doing so much harm in the world, who is um, griping and, you know, punching old men in the face who will not try their stupid whiskey, um, a man who says so, incites violence, racial violence, with his um, tirades against immigrants, uh, which we all know that's a dog whistle. Um, like this man has, her husband, Connor, has done so much harm. So much harm. And she could be trapped in that marriage. Sure, she could be trapped in that marriage. And when and if she is uh, decides to leave or is in a position to leave, or, you know, whatever, is not brain fo uh, forked or mind forked or whatever, or addicted to this man, whatever it is, whatever it keeps her in this relationship, um, I will absolutely uh, have empathy and sympathy. I have, I have empathy for any woman who is with an awful man because for you to be with an awful man might mean that you are used to awful men. You were raised by an awful man. You were orphaned or whatever by an awful man in your own home. So of course you would end up marrying trash, okay? I speak from experience with this. She could literally be terrified of this man. She could be trapped in this not even marriage. It's not even a marriage. It is a literally like shut up ring. Um, this woman, uh, so whatever, but I, we need to be able to also talk about the harm that women in these relationships cause. And I talk about it through my own story so people don't get so pissed, but I'm also allowed to point it out in other people's stories. <laughs> Y'all, like, Hi. <laughs> 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 so now maybe we should go over some of the things that she's doing right now that's causing more harm. Maybe Connor's the one tap, 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 tap and all of it. I don't know. As, as a former pick me cool girl, um, we are all on the pick me spectrum. All of us, you can't be, you cannot live under patriarchy without having some of it in you, if not a lot. And even more so if you grew up in a family where you had to self abandon and had to blah, 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 blah. I'm not othering myself from pick me's. I'm literally telling you as somebody who has been a pick me and is still, you know, a pick me, uh, because it is, it is, it is indoctrination. It's indoctrination. I'm trying to act differently in my life and I do, but the default, not as much now is like, what about him? <laughs> you know, that is just a socialization and it's deep. It's so deep. So this is not, she's bad. I'm good. You're good. They're bad. We, that, that, that. No, that's, that's part of white supremacy culture. One of the tenets of white supremacy culture. Good or bad? We're not doing that here. That man absolutely is financially abusing her. Absolutely financially abusing. Do I have empathy for that? Absolutely. But the more committed she is to being with him, which I understand what that's about, the more harm she's doing. And I, we are allowed to talk about that. So, you know... Of course, the, and the thing is, is the more she caped for this man, the, the, the sillier she looks. So, I mean, literally Connor is the only one who is winning. Um, although I believe she's also protecting her financial interests right now. This is what the media does. Like the way they're not like, oh, she, you know, there she goes, uh, scorched earth. Crazy wife. And they literally like it, you know, triangulation pit the, the, the never going to be a wife but has four babies with him woman against the survivor. It's it's war against them. And Connor is just missing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't take out of context the fact that she uh, is almost a billionaire. And she likes this life. She may not even like this man, but she, you know, she may really like these yachts. Now, Connor just gets to say, you know, I was wrong. It was a mistake. I stepped out on my wife. I'll do better moving forward. Blah, 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 blah. But she is scorching the earth. <laughs> I'm 
just look at this language. She unleashed a series of scathing posts targeting now again that's actually not incorrect but i just love the way like when connor's talked about it is the passive voice and when she's talked about she's a crazy bitch just blowing stuff up i mean and the fact that she went full boy mom with this quote is of course of course connor's mom seems like a boy mom based on what i've read about her and so of course you know his wife is going to be a boy mom too my sons will be what okay what um okay uh, make it about your son. My sons will be warned women like you exist in the world. Imagine a woman with her own boyfriend and child texting provocative slutty uh, pictures of herself to another woman's man, my man, my man, my man, and a family and child on the way. I am this oh, perfect, perfect wife, perfect mother with a child on the way. And this little slut was sent about photo. And my husband could not resist himself. He couldn't block her. He couldn't do anything. This poor, poor victim. He's a poor, poor victim. He was just, you know, wrong place, wrong time. And we know women versus me pressuring men to do stuff all the time. Like, wiping them. Even if it means you have to have your tampon removed with plier or whatever those things are. Forceps because it's jammed so far because... Uh, that sounds like consensual facts right there. Um, but silly, stupid, unhinged, drunk, um, little slut went after my man, my man, my man. Again, this could have been Connor. Connor could have written it. But we know women do this too. Y'all, do you, have you ever met a woman whose husband has cheated on her? I was raised by one. And she did so, she was so good at trying to hide her anger and not, but a lot of women do not hide that. And even when they hide it, it comes out. There's always more anger towards the woman who stole her man or made her man do whatever than the man who did it. Because that's patriarchy, baby. That is patriarchy. This woman claimed to know me, yet still went ahead and sent messages and pictures of herself over and over to my man. Really? He wouldn't have griped you if you hadn't done that. Whilst on a three-day bender, texting excuses of, to her own child at home where mama on Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Saturday... Okay, so, I mean, whatever. Like, this case does not... It's, it's messy. And um, Nikita Hand um, sounds like she has an addiction. Sounds like, I don't know, she had an alcohol problem or something, but apparently, like... But, uh, like, saying that she was on a three-day bender is not making you look good. That makes it sound like she was too drunk to consent. Like, maybe you should have edited that part out of this. Out all night, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, all while out of, uh, uh, out of her face in a hotel. Okay, so she's really intoxicated. Wow, that makes your husband sound, or sorry, not husband. You're not husband. You're forever fiance. Um, guilty. Like, hello, when you're blacked out and really wasted or, or asleep like Giselle, you can't consent. Dancing around and blah. What sort of W-O-M-A-N are you? Not like me. I'm the good wife, the good mother. The morally superior. The martyr. Unlike you. Son, I mean, she, I guess she did this. My sons will be warned. Women like you exist in the world. She even uh, says, accused uh, Nikita of being the aggressor. We know a martial arts world champion. Um, like, <laughs> definitely. Let me tell you something. That little hobo schedule was a couple inches taller than me and probably didn't even weigh more than 10, 20 more pounds than me. And I was like, I can take this dude. I never felt like that man could overpower me. Let me tell you something. I was wrong. Holy crap. I did not realize how strong men are until I was pinned on the ground. Holy crap. So you want to tell me that this, uh, this lady over was the aggressor? And made him do this? Okay. And she's wasted. Then she goes into this. CCD does not lie. I look forward to the day. That everyone realizes that this stupid bitch lied. She was drunk. 
and she she you know she made my professional like what is he a boxer too i don't even know i don't care i know he's a like champion one of the like tough strongest whatever fighters in the world literally but this lady made him <laughs> okay like do you hear yourself you who was out having the time of your life <laughs> oh m mind you a civil court with a jury believed that this woman deserved to be paid out for what she went through. So, uh, you know, like people like listened to a lot of stuff and deliberated on it. it was like, yeah, she gets, she deserves some money for what he did to her. But okay, she's living her best life, having the time of her life, real evidence of whatever. I don't, I can't even read this. It's so like, and the thing is, uh, <sighs> The moment you miraculously don't remember, even though I just said you were on a bender and like out of your mind, but you don't remember. But this, to me, it looks like you're the one randomly assaulting in that lift. It looks like everyone's trying to get away from you, the scary, scary mom. So, and again, she just said all this stuff. Connor and I dealt with these issues privately many years ago, as should be done in a relationship, and we have come out stronger than ever. Uh-oh! It had to happen. It was meant to happen. That's how they grew closer. Connor had to make a few mistakes, you know, bad boy, and now they are stronger than ever. Would this mess just go away and shut up? Let us keep selling whiskey and pay-per-view fights, or if that's still a thing now. So we can become billionaires, which we're this close to being. And let this little mom um, that we, I sent that, you know, like, again, I covered in the other video. There were li like, they, like a gang of dudes came in and stabbed her boyfriend and broke into her house with her child there. Like this woman has been harassed by somebody. Maybe Connor didn't put him up to it, but his fans, at least somebody did. We have four beautiful children. Oh, I'm now, while smiling faces and happy hearts are a testament of who he is and who we are. Not you, you stupid silly bitch. Lie. They without sin cast the first stone. You see what I mean? Do you see what I'm saying, y'all? She could absolutely be stuck in a marriage with this man. And. The things that women will do to cover for men who are harming them causes harm. Causes harm. So what we're not going to do is prioritize her as a potential victim over all of his other victims. We're not going to do that. We can't say that she... Do you know what I mean? Being attached to being the victim was one of the things that stood in the way of me truly healing. Yes. It's really hard to sit with all the stuff that man did to me. All the things that, all the things that I, all the times I didn't leave when I knew I should. Forgiving myself was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And forgiving myself for all of the harm that was caused second hand. Right? The people who suffered trying to get me out on the phone with me, listening to me, uh, who, you know, my friend was in the car one time when he tried to drive us off the road. Like there's, I am so lucky no one else got seriously harmed. And the people who support a woman who's in a, who's in a toxic or abusive relationship, those people go through the ringer. It's like watching an addict drink themselves to death. We also need to hold space for those people because this family man, he may be this to her. He may be awful to her. We don't know, but we know he is awful to a lot of people outside that home. I mean, she's the, the Nikita says it was, you know, a violent grape. He's a, uh, athletic and r r vigorous. <laughs> He said, she said, you know, and what she says is a full-blown lie about it, putting it in a chokehold. How anyone could believe that me as a prideful person would highlight my shortcoming? You know, because that comment she said about how, whatever, I did that in the last video. Six years ago, I should have never responded to her outreach, outreaches. You know, she just wanted to get, she wanted it so bad, y'all. 
I should have shut that party down. I should have never stepped out on that woman I, that I love the most in the world. That's all on me. All I did was cheat. All I did was cheat. And just like the wife, as much as I regret it, everything that happened that night was consensual and all the witnesses swore to it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, I just want to move forward. Can we move forward? Will y'all still, will y'all buy my whiskey now? Come on. Because this is why, I believe this is probably why she did that. McGregor was dropped by proper number 12, the Irish Whiskey Empire that he helped construct. Now, in 2021, McGregor, and, and also, not only does this man not marry her, um, she, he didn't even give her stakes in this company. <laughs> so, like, uh, this man is, uh, but despite all the stuff he says, this is why it's so frustrating. She keeps covering from him. She's standing by him. Yes, maybe she's being held a hostage and he's abusive, but also, do you, I know plenty of women, uh, myself included, who stood by terrible men, who I knew I would face consequences leaving, and boy, did I. But actually, it took me a while to want to leave. It took me a while to want to leave. And the longer I stayed in it, because I was so in my sickness of codependency and all this crap in my head, the longer I stayed, the more I enabled him, the more money I gave him, the more I lied for him, the more harm was caused. That is just fact. It's just fact. Am I responsible for the, all the harm that he did? No. But am I responsible for enabling it? Some. Mm-hmm. It's not fair. It's just patriarchy. She is a victim of this man's whatever. There's no telling what he says to her. I feel bad for her, but I'm also very frustrated with her letting him continue to do what he's doing by covering. Look, his character and likeness was also removed from IO Interactive's hit, whatever that is, a game, I guess. Like, they are losing money now. The 200,000 or whatever, 250, whatever, that's peanuts. To this, this is what they're pissed about. And so if you haven't seen my interview with Michelle um, Simpson Tegel, the one who, one of the, the amazing lawyer, one of the, win, one of the women who took down uh, Larry Nasser, one of the many lawyers who got a settlement uh, from, from USA Gymnastics and all the other cases she's done. This is why civil suits are so important. Look what Cassie did. Look what Cassie did. Open the door up for, I mean, look. It was like not even a year later. Now look where uh, P. Diddy is. So her statement comes as major retailers across the UK and Ireland, including Tesco, have announced they will stop selling alcoholic beverages associated with this man. So it's his brand is taking a hit. This dude has always sucked. Um, literally go, just Google. I did a whole video on just some of the terrible scandals that he's been involved with. Multiple essay allegations. This is why they're pissed. The conv like the settlement proved something. He may never go to he'll never go to jail. But brands don't want to be tied to a convicted in a civil case. Somebody who had to pay out. And also, I already mentioned this in the last video. He says all the time, "I love to spoil her. She does not work anymore," which is BS. Because in the same sentence, I hired her uh, to do the business. She doesn't have to work anymore. Instead, she has to raise four children while also managing all of my stuff. But you know what? I am just, she's getting princess treatment now. This man, like, literally, you, she's absolutely um, getting financially abused. Absolutely. This man was uh, living in his mom's attic. This man had no job he was on like unemployment benefits or something. He was on some sort of benefits while she worked multiple jobs so he could chase his dream. And all he's done as repayment or as, as, as a show of gratitude for all she's done is cheat on her and humiliate her and hide behind her every single time he gets in trouble. So this is, I'm, I'm not even, I'm, I'm just saying this is what they do to you. I'm not even talking about her. I'm using her and all the examples I've talked about in over two years on these platforms of all the women who lose and pay the price of what men do. So even though, you know, <laughs> she does not work anymore, 
even though parenting is a full-time job um and, and she works for my business she uh <laughs> she works for she works for me now oh great <laughs> that sounds awful and collects the check she worked very hard throughout the years and stuck by me when i had essentially absolutely nothing I had a dream that I was telling her about. I can't believe that Dick believed in me. She was willing to, you know, uh, work and support me and feed me and drive me to the gym and literally do everything and, you know, pay all my bills. You know what? She looked out that it worked out for her, but there are so many women who do all this and the man literally just plays video games and like literally becomes the ask any woman who is married to or dated a musician, <laughs> an actor, they're like comedian, like, there's a reason why a lot of women will not date men like this. Because they all have a dream, but most of them don't actually end up weeding, like winning a, a belt or whatever. So how much is she worth now? She is worth a lot now, but it's because she's tied to him. I believe, hopefully, if she ever leaves this man, that she uh, could rebrand herself, you know what I mean? Because who hasn't dated a, an awful person at some point? Um, whatever. But again... She provided full-time financial assistance while working in a nightclub so that he could train in MMA and pursue his aspiration. In addition to what she worked, um, besides the nightclub, she worked a couple of other uh, jobs to support her income at this time. You know, and this also reminds me of a lot of boy moms. They do everything for their little baby boy, and then once he's an adult, it's payback. They're the queen bee now. All that, they want payback now. They sacrifice everything for their little baby boys. And that's why they make the daughter-in-law's lives hell. I'm the queen. Whether it is stupid shows or a full-on articles. How one woman's love may come kind of one of them. Why would she leave this? I understand what it's like to not leave um, a man because of all of this like what will he do without me he has all this stuff because of me I've already sacrificed and that was like a little like hobo schedule loser in New Mexico um, who I worked at a pizza place with imagine how much she is really completely sold into this this image so I'm just saying she may not be with him because she's trapped because she's afraid to leave in terms of him like threatening her or gonna beat her up. I mean, honestly, that would be so dumb of him to beat her up. Why would he beat her up when he could beat up other women? <laughs> like he has been doing. That is just bad business. Men are not, un un they have control. They know how to manage their emotions with certain people. So my guess is like he may, you know, just, he's just doing whatever he wants. He knows she's not gonna leave him because, <laughs> Clearly she ha she'll stand by him even with this, even with like, a, con like a, con a conviction. But I'm telling you, one of the things that we have to work on, any of those who've been socialized as women and especially who date men, this is our work to do. This martyr, um, this like this, the victim mindset where ever, like, <sighs> where we, we won't look at how we might be a part of this problem, it is, it's, a, it's a trap. Don't fall into it. The martyr, the savior, the hero, the, the, the best mom in the world, best wife in the world, it will never serve you well. You will suffer and everyone else suffers too because he's going to keep doing what he wants. Uh-huh. Oh, look at you. Uh -huh. I woke you up with my silly song. Get some other examples. This case immediately came to mind. I did a deep dive on Julie Chen last year, um, in this very complicated case, but Les M Moon, M um, what is this? God, I forget his name. This man did more damage in Hollywood than Weinstein, I swear to God. Um, and I talked about all the things that she faced that made sense, why she doubled down and supported him, but at the same time, her supporting him and gaslighting survivors and like whatever still causes harm. I mean, we have, well, I don't need to go on this, right? But this is the thing I thought of most today. Even though that Christian dude who was like a YouTuber, like a great dad, uh, you know, he wasn't accused of anything. Oh my God. He put his wife through um, all those affairs, all the lying, literally, like literally performing dad, dad, good dad crap. Um, she lost her best friend because of this man. We don't know what he did to her, but she, anyway, there is no telling what that man has done. I want to mention some of the lines she said. This relationship, none of it has ever been enough. I worked so hard to be what I thought he wanted. It was never enough. 
can build a bear as much as you want, but that bear is still a bear. Even though they were going to lose everything because of this man and his uh, multiple affair, which I think is why um, D or whatever is fighting so hard. I'm going to get into that in a minute. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not the case. It is that they are losing... They're losing money through that whiskey thing. She's like, I've been a good wife. I've been a good mother. No reason. He's got everything he needs. I'm there for him in every way. What in the world is missing that he needs to go on this website? And then this scene right here, I'm only going to say this a little bit more about this. I remember sitting on the edge of the bed, so proud of myself. Like, I really am the best wife. I really felt like I outdid him in that moment. Like, you signed up for this stupid, sleazy website. And here I am working to forgive you. Still going to be intimate with you. So still going to fork you despite all the betrayal. Like, what woman would be intimate with you? I would. I would. What, what woman in her right mind would still want to fork you after all this? I would. Because I am morally superior i am more forgiving i am more blah 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 and this is very big in christian family and i'm thinking thinking like i'm winning at this marriage game she's winning because the moral superiority is one reason especially for women who sacrifice so much for these men there's a payoff for that if she's not being physically abused and held hostage in this relationship, that's probably what it is. I've done, I made him. I did that. I'm telling you, I am telling you. Maybe that's not it. But the more you sacrifice, the more you are committed to this person who sucks. And I would not be surprised if Connor doesn't do this soon leans hard into religion this dude her husband went on was like i mean god god said he forgive me gave forgave me. why aren't you people forgiving me you're not being religious by not forgiving me and she forgave me so y'all have to forgive me and then this is what might happen next the guy and her they're both and they, she's already doing it d's already doing it. there's a lot of things i really regret i don't regret you know the hat doesn't regret ashley madison it had to happen uh, for us to be where we're at today. <laughs> what Sam did and what we walked through has left a mark. A permanent mark. But I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for it because I am more of a martyr now. Mm, morally superior. Would y'all be able to grant as much grace as I have? Do you know what I mean? The more you lean into this martyr crap, the more uh, you are trapped. You are cornered. There is no way out of it. It's kind of like a starting point for us. Like, our marriage is stronger because of all this crap he put me through. <laughs> it's a starting point for how we'll live the rest of our marriage. Thank God he did fill in the blank ridiculous list of things because we are stronger now. I forgiven him. You forgive him. Let's all forget this happened so we can keep making our money. Does that woman probably need help? Yep. Is she in a, a, a violent relationship with her with an abuser? I don't know. Do I have empathy for her as a victim of patriarchy? Mm-hmm. Do I also hold her accountable for all the ways that she keeps enabling this man and keeping me this man? Uh-huh. All those things can be true at once. And if we don't let those things all be true at once, then we're good or bad. Is she good or bad? It's complicated. I would not be surprised if he doesn't cheat on her in the next five or 10 years, maybe 15 even, with a much younger woman. Because that's what men like this do. He may stick with her forever and just keep cheating. The, the, he is not gonna change anytime soon. He literally has just been accused of cheating. Again, they don't understand why we stay with them. They're like, what is wrong with you? You clearly don't have any self-respect. <laughs> One of the things that was the hardest pill for me to swallow and the most important pill for me to swallow is all of the harm that was caused as a result of me being with a man that I was enabling. Was he abusing me? Absolutely. Financially, mentally, physically, all those things, right? Each case is different. Each relationship is different. Each context is different. 
You know, I wasn't financially dependent on him. He's a little hobo schedule, right? Literally, literally jump from one woman to another to have a home and then, you know, beat them up, grape them and move on and cheat the whole time and all these things, right? Was I a victim of this terrifying man? Look at my dog right now. <laughs> um, yes, I was. And, and I've also lost some people in my life because of the harm that I put them, harm's way that I put them into. Because of my allegiance to this man, because of my addiction to this man, because of my codependency, my chronic codependency that not only almost got me unalived, but could very well have gotten my friends unalived too. We cannot talk about this stuff without also acknowledging that there's a lot of children out there who will never be okay because their moms did not protect them from their father. Those moms are also victims, but those moms, a lot, a lot of those moms, when they could leave, they wouldn't. Some of them never even wanted to. That doesn't mean they weren't also victims. It doesn't mean they weren't also causing harm. I am telling you, the hardest thing I had to deal with was realizing that all the things I did for that man put the whole community in harm, in harm's way. Put my friends in harm's way. Harm the business that I worked for because we were coworkers. Like there's a long list of the harm that was caught because I dated this man that I actually, and this is me, this is not everybody, but I actually knew intuitively he was like, not a good idea, but fork it, what's the worst that could happen kind of thing. I had to really uh, face some of my demons in me or whatever. I don't want to call demons, but you know, I had to heal a lot of my uh, cycle of violence and trauma within me to stop being with men like that. But that doesn't mean that other people didn't suffer while I was on that journey of unlearning all this stuff. So can we just say that? Cause I did that, most people get it. They follow my work, but some people are so mad that I'm talking about her enabling. She, she may be held hostage in that. He may be literally typing all this crazy stuff on Facebook. He may be doing all this stuff, but he may not be. He may not be. So many women, like men who are predators oftentimes will find a strong, independent, financially stable woman. A lot of times, even like a woman who is just like an to hide behind while they do their stuff. Next, like uh, serial unalivers are sometimes married, you know? Look at all the priests. Look at all these people in the community who are married, have children, have all that stuff, the family man, and they're doing all this harm, sometimes to their families and sometimes to their wives, oftentimes to their families and their wives, and sometimes to everyone else while they hide and live this double life. So we have no idea what's going on in this marriage. She's got four kids with this man. Now, someone who is from Ireland told me that the laws are different there, so he will always be on the hook for taking care of those kids or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to look into it. I don't care. My point is, is that if you will not allow space for women to recognize that someone in a relationship with a man like that is possibly being harmed, but also causing harm, we can't have an honest discussion about it. And so anyway, let me just give some examples. And let me talk about why we need to talk about this because you know again at this point i am i am not here to help men i am not but i am here to help women unfork our brains because none of these men would get away with this stuff if they didn't have us if they didn't have moms sisters daughters wives girlfriends friends co-workers whoever it is women have been taught to martyr ourselves, to cover for men, to save men, to protect men. And then society forces us to suffer the consequences of a man. I wasn't even really uh, criticized. By, by the way, the video I posted on TikTok was seven minutes. The one on YouTube, 37 minutes. So people who comment on TikTok are missing a lot of the nuance that I do go into. So I'm not gonna go into all the things, reasons why I can't stand this person, this man. And also that his, his non-marriage, this long relationship with this woman who sacrificed everything for him and all he's done is embarrass her. I'm not even, this isn't for her. She'll never see this. This is to show do not sacrifice uh, or love, um, unconditionally love any 
man, unless it's your child. And, and then that's, you know, to an extent. Because mommy is going in there caping for Connor too. Every time I talk about, do you have any idea how many women who are, 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 are not able to heal from a lot of um, essay and from their own fathers or brothers or even uh, mothers or other people because some woman or man, but a lot of times it's women, is covering for, excusing. Uh, you know, oh, I can't believe it. Won't, you know what I mean? We'll do anything but risk losing that man. The way women have been taught to center men, even if you don't date them. And the allegiance and the loyalty. Stop being loyal to men. They will never be loyal. They leave us if we get sick. <laughs> Statistically. The way she, this woman is so loyal to Connor. And he has been nothing but not loyal to her. It never, it never, it never pays off. It never works out. What sacrificing for men endlessly never works out well for us. So I want the, the lesson of this is like, whatever, uh, you know, don't care about the details of this case or these people. I'm just using it as a teachable moment. And you know, some women get mad at me for talking like, like every relationship is different. I don't know your relationship. You don't know mine. We don't know theirs. But I do know what we do as a society collectively is women come in, clean the path so that men can just slide into glory. And then every time those men do anything wrong, sweep up it up after them. Anthony, uh, my husband says all the time, that metaphor of the um, curlers, you know, that patriarchy is like women are the curlers, you know, man is just everything to make their life easier even if we take the hit for them the crimes they commit because even when these men go and commit crime even if they go to jail and i'll try to remember her my 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 mutual and one of my students uh who got some great pieces uh uh published has personal experience that even when the man goes to jail who is the one sending him money? Who's the one doing all his paperwork? Who is the one coordinating all this crap? Who is the one visiting and constantly driving four hours or longer to go and visit for an hour? Who is going through, like, the women who are, you know, mothers or sisters or uh, wives or girlfriends of those men who are serving any time for the consequences of their act? Those women go through hell. And those are the women who get judged. Women, women always pay a bigger price for all the crimes that men commit because women are blamed for it. So in that video that I did is not to blame his wife. That is like not at all what I'm doing. But we also need to acknowledge that patriarchy would not exist without our roles. It won't exist without us. If we have to stop doing these things ourselves. We can't make change and we can't make men do anything. We can't make anyone do it. But what am I doing to enable a man right now? I have to ask myself that on a daily basis. Still, I probably will. Am I doing something that's enabling really bad behavior? Would I do this for a woman? Would I do this? You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. I always have to check my motives because my default is enable men. Let men get away with whatever. Give him a chance. Benefit of the doubt. Blah, right? The same benefit of the doubt I would never give a woman. Ever. Even though they have, you know, historically been way more um, uh, reliable, trustworthy, loving, helpful, blah, blah, blah. But man, the way I will give a complete stranger more of a benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you know? This is the unforking of our brain that takes a long time. So, uh, if this, their relationship, if you disagree with what I say in terms of what, if it's not, what I'm saying may not be about your relationship um, because all the details are different. But why do women stay with these men? Why? Why did I stay? Uh, I felt morally superior to him. I was addicted to him. I was super codependent and had to heal a lot of that stuff. I was also mind forked. I was also, you know, love bomb and all that other crap, right? But what, even when I knew I should get out, why did I stay? 
low self-worth, humiliation, shame, ego. But I'm a feminist and I'm dating a man who, want, who you know, tried to like unalive me. What is wrong with me? So many reasons. But another one is I love being the martyr. I love it. I love being better than him. Morally superior to him. I love being needed. What will he do without me? Like there, when I think back to some of the thoughts that were going through my head, even when I was literally on my way out of town, making sure my friends were going to check on him like he's a, he's a baby. Guess what? That dude was already cheating on me. He already had another girlfriend lined up to, to swoop in and carry him to glory the way we do. Let's talk about some other celebrities who have stayed with their men. Now, maybe some of these women are being abused, manipulated. Of course, they're being manipulated and lied to. That doesn't mean that these men hiding behind these women, that doesn't mean that their actions, whether it's lying through omission, because lying through omission is still lying, or lying just outright. I was literally hiding my, my boyfriend at the time in the car because I didn't want anybody to know I was still, like the way I was still paying for his stuff, giving him all this stuff. <sighs> and I was ashamed of it because I knew it was right, but I was doing it anyway. Women are absolutely destroyed by patriarchy, harmed like and immeasurably by patriarchy. And one of our survival mechanisms is to play into it, play the role, stay in line and try to, you know, do whatever we can. But as my uh, friend and mutual Therese says all the time, patriarchy, it's like, it's, it, it's like going to the casino the house always wins. You won't win. You may kind of win and then you hate yourself and they'll embarrass you, but at least you want whatever. Anyway, um, please follow my Patreon. That's what keeps me be able to keep doing this stuff. I have all kinds of lives over there. I have travel content, personal stuff, you know, whatever. And let me know if you saw the comment song. Welcome, welcome to the comment song. Street art edition comment song. Just to remind you before the holidays, to please support artists, yeah! Because they're the only people sometimes who can fight back against big tolerance. And we do it subtly through humor and stuff like this, yeah! Anyway, the comment song. This was last year at the Street Art Festival. Oh, look at that clip. Beautiful! Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that plant. Right next to this Mona Lisa and statues. Clank, 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 comment song. Click comments on, on. Do you even get it this far? I'm not sure anybody's still listening. But those who are here a long time really appreciate my comments on comment song. I'm improvising here. There's Anthony reporting. It's something up there. I can't see it. Anyway, look at this. At the festival, you got to paint stuff. But by the time we got there, all the, the cans were empty. Blah, 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 whatever, you know. Kids got to play, and I don't need to paint anything anyway. Comment song, comment song, comment song edition. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I show a lot on my Patreon. Patreon, a reminder as we go into the holidays. Be mindful who you give your money to, and don't just give it to corporations or men or people hurting people, whatever. Give it to me, mutuals, or any of us on Patreon. Giving Patreon membership as a gift to someone, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's silly. Look at this political, oh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh my God, I'm so unhinged if you're new here. I never know what the hell I'm going to say. Hey, anyway, comment song. Let me know if you heard it. Bye.